Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 5 of the Farming Simulator 22 episode. Uh, today I think we're going to be covering mainly some harvesting of the fields. As you know, we've got the two fields currently growing with wheat right now. Both fields currently full of wheat, so they're growing nicely. Uh, we do just have to quickly do a few other um, jobs around the little farm that we've got. And the first one we're going to be doing is filling up the greenhouse with water. Um, it's not empty, but of course the more it's got and uh, the less that we have to worry about it in the future now The water tank is only a small one, uh, but it is something which we are going to be improving on in the future once we've got enough money it currently sitting at 30,000 um, Not enough. Well, it probably is enough money to upgrade the water tank But of course we want to um, do other things and I think the next thing we're going to do once we've done the greenhouse is is possibly take a look at bringing some animals to the farm i know we don't have a home yet we've only got a little tank we don't really have much funds elsewhere um, to bring in um, more money for the farm but i think if we can bring in some animals possibly just some chickens a little chicken coop or something like that we'll have a look see what options we've got for us uh, and then i think and um, the only thing we need for the chickens is just chicken feed right um, so that shouldn't be too hard for us to look after and then obviously we can get those breed in and also obviously sell the eggs which are produced from the chickens as well uh, let's just get this filled up they're almost done with the greenhouse so let's just have a quick look then construction what are we looking for animals we have bees, chickens, sheep, pigs, horses, cows. Um, so we've got beehives, which obviously produce honey. Chickens, oh, 79k for the biggest chicken coop, but only 6,000 for the smallest one. We're currently at 29,000. So I think we should get ourselves a chicken pasture, right? Where are we going to place it, though? We've got a big space over here, but this is more or less for um, expanding our fields. We could put it at an angle, uh, maybe on the other side of the rock there. I don't really want it there. Yeah, uh, oh, we're near this rock. Spin it around. Oh, this would be a good place. I need to rotate the camera. There we go. If we can just get that on right up against the rock, that will leave the driving position open for us to sell stuff there we go we have our first chicken pasta down um i'm not going to get chickens just yet I, I have no idea how you actually do all that uh, but it is placed so at least that's there we can concentrate on that soon obviously we're going to need to get some chicken feed for that as well uh, let's just have a look what do we have to do press r and that's where the the food goes i believe so animal dealer we've got baby chickens then okay they cost six pound each to buy a baby chicken the bigger ones are 50 pound um then a rooster as well of course so they can re reproduce six months old which these are the bigger ones are six months old and then a rooster, they liven up your chicken coop. So how do I do this? I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. Do we need transport to get these in here? Um, we'll have a look at that in a bit, I think. I have no idea how to do that right now. Uh, but obviously, that is the space. That is our chicken coop ready to go. Um, we'll probably get that done before the end of today's episode. If not today's episode, we'll probably have a look um, in tomorrow's or in the next episode. I should say, no guarantee that tomorrow's uh, the next episode will be tomorrow. So onwards we go. Then twenty-two thousand we're down to right now, and obviously we need to be harvesting very very soon. We need to start getting the machinery for um, the harvest. Uh, we did cut down a few more trees as well, if, if you watched the last episode. Um, so we've got quite a few tree stumps to, to get rid of soon. And that will give us more space to obviously open up more fields as well when we decide to expand it. Uh, but we decided to go ahead and buy ourselves a trailer. We're already down here with our tractor. So there is our new trailer. 
we own this one we haven't leased it we have bought it outright so no need to worry about um, the leasing fees for this and let's just back up onto it and boom there we go so let's just get this back to our home and this will be one of our main purchases I think one of our main big purchases for our new farm having our own trailer obviously it's going to come into use constantly um, so we'll use this for um, the grain once we've harvested of course and we've got some more fruit and veg I've just noticed over there we have gone forward a few months don't know if you've noticed we are now into February uh, look you can see we have tomatoes what else have we got tomatoes strawberries potatoes sunflowers all there keeping nicely um, the water is a third of the way full right now you can see the options currently growing in the production chain we've got tomatoes lettuce strawberries um, potatoes and sunflowers so can we move these object too heavy so I can't move these by hand um, so does that mean we need to get ourselves a forklift how else I'm going to move them and sell them to just a few yards to the selling point let's just check on our fields um, seven of seven growth stays so I'm thinking the next month they'll be ready to harvest now our other field that's a different story we probably should have checked that before we slept but let's get this first field done anyway um, obviously we need to get ourselves a harvester a harvester head whatever you want to call those I have no idea uh, but there we go it is all yellow beautiful yellow you can see in the foreground there uh, the other field is not just quite not quite there just yet um, but the first one is so as I said we need to get ourselves a harvester not in the sale which is a bit of a shame but we're only on 9k anyway um, so I don't think we would have been able to go ahead and buy a, a second hand harvester and uh, where are they harvesters there we go 75,000 to buy is that the cheapest one 75k I think it is um, and there is a header I believe we need so let's lease these 1,200 for the header and the harvester itself to lease is wow 3,800 so that puts us down to just under 4k for the harvester and the header but of course once we've got this we can harvest that first field in March which is right now and then of course I think in April the second field will be ready to go so we need to be making was it 4,000 back at least with the harvest otherwise we are just at a loss leasing this out and of course if we're not going to be able to use this harvester um, in just one month we're going to have to lease it again for um, April as well because that second field just not ready yet so more money for us to spend we probably should have waited to harvest this field in April but it is what it is we're learning we're going to make a few mistakes here and there I'm, I'm sure we're going to be wasting a lot of money along the way as well yeah, but here we are actually only half the field's done damn you well, we're going to get this part done anyway. So let's do this part manually. I may as well. Don't forget to lower it. Turn it on. And we're harvesting, boys. There is the grain falling out of the back of the harvester. Obviously, we're going to be selling all that. Bailing it up. Not grain falling out the back, is it? It's just wheat or whatever it is. The grain's going into the back of the harvester which we'll put into our trailer and uh, so yeah we're going to be doing some baling soon not sure what bales we can create with this or even what to do with them do we just sell the bales straight out uh, we will find it all out soon we're going to have more to bale this time as well than we did the first time did we just sell them outright last time all the original bales I think we did uh, but let's get through this little section like I said I'm going to do this part manually no need to really rush to get through it early in the morning about half past 8 in the morning I've already been to the store picked ourselves up a harvester got it connected to the header
and already harvesting our first field of um, the new year we will look at the chickens as well I think in today's episode at the end maybe I would like some chicken in our coop before the end of today uh, and fully fed as well of course so I don't know if I've already got some chicken feed ready um, not no idea how much it's worth so um, I'll probably have to buy some of that as well uh, but obviously leave your suggestions below guys which animals are best or even easier to raise and produce money from I'm very very new to farming sim games if you watch the first episode I did briefly touch on the fact that I did touch um, farming sim 19 briefly with a couple of friends um, but we didn't play it too much maybe for a month not even a month maybe a few days actually um, I probably played it a little bit longer on my own uh, but there we go that is going to be the first little bit we've got three lines there um, we're gonna shall I just sell this uh, grain straight away just see how much we get for it Might as well just take over the uh, harvester to the trailer which is waiting nicely inside our little farming area there we go there's not gonna be much in here maybe a, a, a thousand I have no idea how much grain sells for but there we go that's all the grain from the harvester then let's go get this back into position I think ready for April I'm hoping in April that second field over in that far top right corner is also ready along with the second half of this field I thought the whole of this field was done if I'm totally honest uh, but let's get this nut lined up ready and here's our tractor with a little bit of grain in there 16% worth we may as well sell it we need the money right now we're just on 4,000 uh, so let's overload this into the sell point I'm hoping for a thousand Oh, oh, just under. I thought it was going to be just over then, but no, it went out of the trailer very, very fast. So 816 for that little bit of harvest, which is not too bad because we've still got more than a half um, of harvest to go on this side. And then obviously that second field as well. Um, so it's looking like we may just make our money back on leasing the harvest, the harvester and the header. Uh, so into April we go as you can see we just sped along uh, an extra month here this field is ready uh, the second field though in that top of your screen is not ready which is a bit of a shame so that's going to take us into May uh, we don't have seasonal growth on guys um, because obviously I'm still learning the game I want to just get into it as much as I can um, as easy as, as I can for now um, so obviously that's going to cost us another month of leasing both the harvester and the header which is a bit of a shame and it's going to be hard for us to earn money from this harvest if I'm totally honest we may just make a money back uh, with the leasing fees um, so we'll have to wait and see and we have to get down some more trees as well to be honest we're running out of money we need to get some chickens producing eggs and obviously producing themselves as well we want some more chickens I think once you've got a few chickens in there um, they will obviously grow into actual chickens which you can sell as well in the future and I, I did have a brief look I think it was a maximum of 30 in this chicken pasta right I think it was 30 so what we could look to do is have around well we're gonna have one rooster in there anyway oh there's all the grain in the back looks like sugar puffs um, but yeah we're gonna have one rooster in the chicken pasta pasture or whatever you want to call it um, and then we're gonna have I don't know well can I sell this straight onto the thing probably can't can I um, we're gonna have some baby chickens some chicks they'll grow into adult ones and of course um, and then as they continue to grow from the babies into the adults we can sell some of the adults uh, just to continue that little bit of extra funding as well. I don't think you get much for selling chickens uh, But maybe five at a time it goes a hundred pound or something like that I have no idea how much they actually sell for but we'll have a look at that um, in the future 
And I think that's all of that one done. Right, that's the first field fully harvested. At least for the grain. We've got to go through and bale. I won't get the bale just yet. We'll probably wait for this second field to be baled as well. Uh, to be harvested before we get the baler. Just so we're not wasting more money um, on leasing fees. But let's take the harvester over to our second field. Just get it in two position. Then we'll probably look to expand this field once we have harvested it as well. Um, so let's go and sell this grain. Now this has got to be over a thousand, right? The first one was 800 and something. That was for about a third of that first field. So this should be around 2,000. Let's hope they can get 2,000 out of this. Right, uh, overload. Here we go, tipping it up, boys. Can we get 2,000? Tip, 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 tip. No, I don't think we're going to get 2,000, are we? Are we? Oh, look at that. So close. £1,979. Um, so in total, um, just over 2,500 for that field with the harvest. Obviously, we're going to get a little bit more once we have baled all the hay and then obviously sold all the bales as well. Uh, well, let's go over... Actually, we could get ourselves sleeping into May. Got a few more trees there which we could cut down as well. So let's get those done. We need the extra funds, boys. This one, not packed very well on the back of our trail. I'm hoping I don't crash here. Look at that front branch there. Uh, but we'll get this sold. We've got plenty of fruit and veg on the left side of our screen as well at the greenhouse. So that's going to bring on some more income as well. Uh, but of course, we need to go and get ourselves a forklift. Uh, 2,200. So the wood was almost as good as the harvest of the wheat. But we are running out of trees, so they can't last forever. Loads of tree stumps, though, to get rid of. That is one problem we're having. Uh, but we want to get rid of all these trees and hopefully go into April. Uh, sorry, not April, into May. And then harvest field number two. So let's just get the rest of this wood sold. I've cut down quite a few trees. We've got a few small ones left. Uh, so let's just chop these down, get some extra money. That will take us to, what, around... Just under 10,000, I think it will, if we can get all these trees on the back of this trailer. Now, we're at actually 11,800 right now. So what we could do is look to find out how we work these damn chickens out. Um, all right, there we go. We select it. These are the baby ones. 15, 17, so that's 100. There's 20 at 120 pounds. 25 so 30 is the max right yeah it says in the top right there 30 so i was right so we could get 30 chickens straight out these are the baby ones of course that's gonna be 180 pound i'm hoping they just appear in the chicken coop rather than having to get some transport uh, well let's see there we go Oh, there they are. We have 30 chickens. Hello, guys. But now, I'm guessing you need some food, right? Um, let's go get some food. I don't think we have any that seeds over there just behind the tractor. That field over there still waiting to be done. So shall I tra take the trailer down? Yeah, this is seed. This is not... Um, animal feed um, so what I should do is probably take our trailer down to go pick we're gonna need another forklift aren't we might be a good time to go ahead and get the forklift ready to sell the fruit and veg and obviously pick up some animal feed because we have to bring the animal feed all the way down here it's not like the seeds where we can actually fill up the cedar at the store we're gonna have to bring the animal feed down to the farm and crows there on my harvested field so let's drive all the way down to the store 
Right then, we are in the store. Still nothing um, decent for us in the sale. There are our owned items. We need animal feed. That's Is that the one? Wheat, pig food, wheat, oats, lime. So I'm guessing because it's got the chickens on. This is the one we need. Oh, 1,400 a bag. Oh my god, I'm hoping this is going to be worth, boys. We've got ourselves two bags of animal feed. Um, we're going to have to get ourselves a forklift to lift up the animal feed onto the back of our trucks. Uh, I think there was, actually, a super strength mod, which I may look to install in the next couple of episodes. Um, that's going to make our life so much easier. We can lift up the bags if we... Um, tip a truck we can just lift it back up um, same with the trees and the logs as well we can just yank them back onto the back of our um, trailers so that's going to help us so much all right then let's try and get these connected to the forklift without me tipping over or crashing or ruining anything Oh, oh my god. I'm still learning, guys. I'm not a pro forklift driver just yet. Still got quite a way to go. The trailer's just over there. Probably should have brought the trailer closer. Oh my god, just get it in the hole. There we go. It's in the right hole now, lads. We did it. That's what she said. Come on. Right then. Chicken feed bag number one. 1,400 it costs, remember? Don't split it, don't ruin it. Needs to go back to our chickens and then they will start feeding, producing eggs, uh, reproducing themselves as well, of course, so we can get more chickens. And we, we put 30 in there, didn't we? So what I need to do is actually sell a bunch. Um, get a rooster in there, liven up the chicken coop or the chicken pasture. Um, then we can possibly sell, should I sell like four or nine chickens and then get, or just let them reproduce themselves? Mm, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, for now, let's get this food back to the, them, otherwise they're going to be doing nothing. They won't be producing or anything, they'll be dead. Uh, now, do they die? That's another thing I, I have no idea. If you don't feed your animals, do they just not reproduce or do they actually die? You'll have to let me know in the comments section below, guys. That's information which obviously I'm going to need to know. But saying that, I'm not going to starve my animals, so it shouldn't really be a problem. But obviously, if it is something I miss out on in the future, once my farm is much bigger, then it is information which I need to know. But anyway, let's get this second one onto the back of our truck. There we go. Oh, this one's on. Much easier. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm a pro all of a sudden. Look at that. Can we get it off? Oh. Look at me. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's get these secure. And on they go. Should I take the seed with us as well whilst we're here? Have a little play in our fort lift. Um, we can obviously use this forklift as well at the greenhouse. We do have a bunch of fruit and vegetables to sell at the sell point. Um, so that's going to give us a few extra hundred or maybe even a thousand or something. Um, once we sell all that, we've already sold a bunch in the past. So, well, there we go. We're getting the hang of this forklift driving. Give me my forklift license. Alright, we're at 7, 000, just under £7,000. We're in April. We are waiting to go into May. Then obviously we can harvest that second field. Um, let's just get this onto the back of our trailer without crashing. There we go. Easy. Down. And off. Oh, beautifully done. Right then, we need to secure that. There we go. Right, three bags, two of wheat, and then one of seeds. Any seeds we choose, which is kind of funny. Uh, but right, let's get ourselves back to the house or back to our home. Here we are. We've already got the 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 trailer with the chicken feed and the seeds. We've just gone back and got ourselves the forklift as well. 
because um, obviously we're going to have to take off these bags as well with the um, fault lift and they've got a little bit of feed in there right now just to keep them going but indeed they're going to need some more now I'm thinking can I just reverse this and it will fill up itself it is look at that Keep it on the back of your truck, guys, and it fills up itself. There we go. The chicken feed is full, so we could just keep them on the back of the, the truck for now. And we do need to take the seeds off, though, at some point. I can't even lift any of it. Now, we do have all these fruit and veg. We've got potatoes, sunflower, tomatoes, strawberries. Uh, no lettuce. Don't see any lettuce. Are we, are we growing lettuces or what? Right, so I think what we're going to do to end today's episode is sell some of this stuff. Obviously, the leasing fees for this uh, forklift need to be matched with all these items that we sold here. Otherwise, we're at a loss yet again. Um, so let's see, have we got a hang of this just yet? We're still learning, or oh, straight under and up. There we go. This is easy. We're getting the hang of this farming life, lads. Still got a lot to learn, but we're slowly getting the basics down. Well, are we five episodes in? All right, how much is this going to be? I can't remember. Oh, another one. I think potatoes just popped up. So we've got plenty of um, items stored as well, it seems. We could probably get all this sold right now before we do end today's episode. Um, we're not looking at the best prices or best months to sell these items just yet. I think on the next harvest we'll be doing that. Uh, but as you can see, we have got through all of this right now. We've just got a few more boxes to sell. And we are hopefully going to be hitting 13,000 here with the items which we've just sold. There's a new, another £232. Let's sell these potatoes. And we've got one more crate of strawberries. Can we get it to 13k? Right, there goes the, the spuds, the potatoes. Right, they're gone. Oh, no, we're definitely not hitting um, 13,000. This has got to be over 300 for the strawberries. And as I said, we haven't checked the best months, the best prices to sell these. Maybe the next load, as I said, we'll stock up, we'll store them, and then we will sell them when the prices are even better. Uh, but we just wanted to get these rid of right now, just so we've got the extra funds within our bank. And I think it's going to be just short, isn't it, of 13,000. Just watching the bank go up in the top right there. But yeah. 232 so that leaves us with 12,890 in the bank not too bad and um, we do have a harvest of a field to go as well of course and then once that is harvested we can go ahead and bale the two fields sell the uh, the the hay bales which we get from those two fields so that's going to be a little extra money as well we've got the chickens now producing so they'll be producing themselves reproducing themselves and obviously creating um, eggs for our farm which we can sell at the best prices we'll probably wait um, for the best prices for the eggs that's for sure we'll wait for them to store up um, I think we need to be adding bees as well to our farm I think if you have beehives close to your um, fields it increases the yield of the uh, for, uh, of the produce on the fields I believe that's right um, so probably look to do that as well. That can't be too much. I think it was a few thousand uh, Which is one reason why we do need all the uh, money we can get right now We have a few more trees as well, which we could get rid of uh, But we are progressing well. I know it's a little bit slow, but we're slowly getting there guys slowly but surely uh, But I think guys we're gonna leave it there. We've done quite a lot today. Actually, we sold some more wood um, got the chickens done, we've got a field harvested, and we've sold a bunch of fruit and veg, so get in there surely. And obviously we also bought ourselves a trailer. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.